This is like a hotel. But shockingly, this apartment, which is gorgeous, is also rent stabilized. We've got a wraparound roof deck, and look at the view. What's uh, what's the rent? We are here in Williamsburg. Williamsburg, Brooklyn, awesome neighborhood. If you move here, you better get your coffee here. Cold brew with chicory. That's some snob coffee for you. And look, they got some awesome looking pastries right here. Apricot scone, oh that's probably money. And look at the cookies. You seem nice, but you're a deli cat. Deli cats exist on food scraps from customers. I was actually just in there. It's a nice deli. But how New York is this? There's no longer a price for the pressed juice, probably because of inflation. And it's still the grand opening, even though it may have been here for a while. There are a lot of restaurants here, and this one, Carnival, I've seen lines here when it's open, which isn't right now. But I would be most interested in trying this place. It's an izakaya, Japanese restaurant. I just came back from three weeks in Japan. That was fun. Now, this wouldn't be Brooklyn without a taco shop. They've got a little takeout window. It looks pretty nice inside. Oh, wow, look at all the outdoor dining, too. This is probably a much more popular place than I'm aware of. Although, I don't know if you're gonna be eating at this seafood boil anytime soon. It looks like the entire restaurant is now in the outdoor dining. That is so weird. I'm guessing that whatever was in here just didn't survive. They had a really great location here though. But over here, this might be the best spot. Look, they have a Chipotle breakfast burrito. Ooh, and look at that. There's a little takeout window for your coffee. And it's also right by the train. It's always a question as to whether or not the trains work. Look at this nightmare. This is why people are riding bikes and Look at that, right over here, you conveniently have city bikes. So if the train lets you down, you can just get on one of these. There's four left. That'll let you take your destiny in your own hands. Or just buy my bike in the affiliate links below. Or subscribe, that's cheaper. We're here. Look at this place. Josh said I could pick whatever I wanted. Did I make a good decision? I think I did. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful building. Look at that, man. I can't wait. Look at those big windows. I just hope I can afford it. If you can, I'll have Josh's info in the video description. rent it's funny they finished the gym before the laundry room weights up to that's a 45 up 50 there we go but in order for me to work up to the 50 pounds I'm just gonna do some curls with the ab roller that would give me a nice pump look at that look at that did you subscribe yet There's like a garden on the roof. Obviously not 100% ready yet, but look at how pretty this will be. There's even a little gazebo. You could get married here while you're signing a lease for your apartment. Did you know these apartments are all rent stabilized? The whole building is. Which means the lease could last longer than your relationship, but let's hope not. Luckily, this side of the roof deck is finished and it's also the best. Look at this awesome view right over there facing downtown Manhattan. You can see One World Trade and the Empire State Building. And with all the furniture up here, this is definitely going to be a sweet environment to just kind of hang out, get some fresh air, sit in our little rock garden. So absolutely everything about this apartment hits where it needs to. If you go straight, you got the common space. Here's a bedroom. And the cool thing is that the other bedroom's on the opposite end of this vast space. 
So this entire apartment is over a thousand square feet. And the living room is 18 by 22. I would probably be broke going to Ikea to furnish this place. Kitchen's over here, so you'll probably want like a six person table. Couch floating in the center of the room, big entertainment center. Then you could scatter some other chairs and stuff in here. This is just kind of overwhelming. But what's really smart that they did, you've got heaters and ACs in all the rooms. There's a slight tint on this that kind of lessens the amount of sunlight that you've got, and it comes with window shades. And you can even open the windows if you want. I don't know how often you're gonna use this part of the roof deck, but it is kind of cool. Look, you could put some plants or something out here, and then, you know, obviously, grill, chairs, outdoor seating, everything. What's also pretty cool is this view is facing east, so we're getting direct sunlight. Every morning it's gonna be bright here. And look at the street. It's not really that loud, even though we're in a part of Brooklyn that has traffic. Almost didn't see the dishwasher. But look at this, this is like almost a double sink. We've got the sprayer attachment. And these cabinets, these are super high end. They have a nice feel when you open them up. Oven's absolutely massive. Medium fridge with a little bottle attachment. Love the view out of this bedroom window. And this is a big bedroom. That's the entry point over there. This could practically be a studio. Check this out, after you walk in, that's the living space, bathroom is there. There could have been like a small kitchen. The living space at its longest point, 15 by 20. Whatever size bed you want, you think you want, that will fit in here along with like a home office. In this corner I could totally see like a work from home setup which would make sense. And look at all the closet space that we got here. This one's got the nice double doors, lots of storage. And then we got one over here with sliding doors. This attached bath is really pretty. I like the tile in here. Plus, look at this, you've got the sprayer and the overhead shower. Having this as your own bathroom, I don't think that would be a bad thing. Sink's cool. Then we got this mirror. Ooh, oh wow, look at all that storage. That has gotta be some kind of record for medicine cabinets. It's gigantic. Under sink storage is okay and I accidentally tapped the glass, it goes all the way up. And because there's no gap from the floor to the ceiling, you're not gonna make a mess. And what's interesting is at half the rent for this place, you're looking at around $3,000. That's not gonna get you a one bedroom that looks like this, but let's see the other bedroom. Smaller than the first bedroom, but this is still good. In fact, I like the view better just because it's east. This window is always gonna be super bright. This also measures 13 and a half by 11, so it's pretty big. And look at this walk-in closet. This is fantastic. Got a nice big door on it. I was expecting like some tiny little slider. And I think that even if both bedrooms looked exactly like this, it still might make sense to rent this place. This is the bathroom that everyone will kind of use, visitors, because it's off the living room. It's also a full bath, which is nice. And I see an awful lot of similarities in here with the bathroom attached to that other bedroom. Except the glass stops right about here. Um, do you prefer the light theme in here versus the tile in the other one? Which bathroom do you like better? I like this one. I think this one's cooler too. Shout out to Josh for letting us hang out here today. I'll have his info below, then pick another video up here. I'll see you soon.